Standing leg lowers are one of my favorite exercises, actually. You have a lot of choices with what you want to do with the springs here. I think in the manual I have it at two blocks, one down from the top. That would be sort of a standard if I want to work on both sides of that motion, meaning the stance leg and the moving leg, and work on that forward posture. And I'll show you what happens if you change the height of the spring and the spring itself in a minute too. And I'll let you guys try that when you try it out. So standard would be here. I'm going to stand right in front, keeping my body tall. I'm going to bring one foot right to the foot bar here. Because I have enough weight on it, I'm going to actually divide the weight and let my body hinge slightly forward. And then I'm going to press down and slowly back up. Now the press down is actually not the hard part. The controlling back up and keeping your body in that right position is. So most people, I have them hold on and then slowly come up right at first. And then if they can, we work towards having them let go with their hands, right? And we're really working to try and help them keep work on that stance leg. So I'm really up, my, I'm not out here, right? I'm really square and tall as I go with the side. I'll just do the other side so you can see it, right? So coming up here really tall, pushing down and controlling my way up. And I should feel light on my stance leg. So sometimes if people are back here, right, this looks very different. What am I doing now? Right, I'm just trying to work this quad and I don't have my butts out and I don't have my weight forward in that tall posture. And really what we want is that forward tall posture, weight divided. I, one of the, my favorite cues these days is to tell people, imagine that you're about to walk up a staircase. Right, so that I should have enough feeling like I'm just about to go step right up with that next foot here. So that's the facing forward parallel. Then we do um, little turned out. So I'm going to be turned out on my leg here, the heel. I like to bring it right to the edge of the wood. And then my other foot's going to be in front also in turn out. Again, I'm going to find my tall stance, divide the weight between my two feet and press down and control my way back up. So really working for this wrap now. I want to wrap around, really control, feel like I'm squeezing, working my inner thighs on the down and slowly releasing back up. Down and slowly up, right? And then the third one, the third variation, is to go across. Here, this is definitely the hardest one and it's not appropriate for all people because of hip, it could be because of hip injury or spinal injury or SI joint instability. So here, uh, I like to start this one. I actually prefer to set people up when the bar is down. I'll show you why, but this is the setup, right? I'm on this leg. I want to make sure that stance hip is not checked out to the side, right? I'm picking it up and I feel like I'm almost rotating over. Now I'm really, that really helps me pick up my stance hip. Right? And it really helps me actually pick up the arch of my foot. So I want to plant that foot. I don't want to turn and be turning that heel. I want to stay with it. And I want to lift up and spiral in this leg so that my arch picks up, my inner thigh picks up, my hip is in. This foot's turned out this way. And then I can push down. Right? So, <laughs> excuse me. It helps sometimes to push the bar down for your client, get them situated here, and then slowly bring the bar up to the right height that's right for them and push back down. So a small person, somebody who's not as tall, is going to have a harder time getting the bar to come all the way up as somebody who's got longer legs. And you'll see that even in the class when you guys all try it out. So really controlling, pressing down and back up. So it doesn't matter if they go all the way up or not. Right? If that hip is sticking out, the bar is going to hit the leg. Right? So if they say, the bar is hitting my leg, then you know that they're not picked up enough in that hip. They've really got to pick up and add that motion towards the chair itself. Right? So those are the three variations of a standing leg lower.